adding and subtracting to my to my case. So it has to be vertical, right? For those of you that don't understand what I just said, let's go back and look at it. If I say my vertices are at 0, 2, and 0, negative 2, and my foci at 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. So obviously, ladies and gentlemen, I have to have a hyperbola, right? That's going to take this shape, which means that my transverse axis, the axis that um, my foci, my vertices, and my center all lie on, is going to be vertical. Or I could say, here's my center point. So now they're asking us just to plot in what the standard form is. Well, we know, remember, the distance between the center and your vertice is A, and the distance between the center and the foci is going to be C. So we can say in this core, and we also notice that there are centers at the origin. So we say the center is at 0, comma 0, A is equal to 2, and C is equal to 4, right? And our last thing we need to do for our formula, so here's the formula. We know that the formula takes shape, since it's vertical, it's going to take the shape of y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. So the last thing I need to do is figure out b. So we go back to our formula and say, all right, I know a, I know c. But remember, to find b, we need to go and see how, do, how does a, b, and c relate to each other. Well, since this is a hyperbola, we know that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So now we have 16 equals a squared, which is 4, minus plus b squared. Minus 4, minus 4, 12 equals b squared. Take the root, take the root. You could say this is going to be uh, 2 radical 3. I'm sorry, what am I doing? We just need to know what b squared is. Let's get into that solving mentality. So b squared equals 12. So now just plug in what we know. We don't have an h and a k, so our final answer is y squared over a squared, which is 4, minus x squared over 12 equals 1. That's it. Oh, okay. Probably always in your way, aren't I? Yeah.